am making a vegetable curry. Vegetable curry? <laughs> you mean with no meat in it? Well, that's right. But who would eat curry without meat in it? Hmm. Vegetarians. Veggie what? Vegetarians, people who don't eat meat. Really? <laughs> These are some of the vegetables we're going to be cooking today. Mm. They are potatoes and beans, a carrot, some tomatoes, garlic, and that's what we call chili, and onions, and this is a cabbage, and some baby marrows, an aubergine, or a brinjal, and this is ginger. Then we have cauliflower, a nice fat red pepper, some spinach, a carrot, and a pumpkin, and this is what we call celery. What's this? Well, that's a brinjal, and it's also known as an eggplant. It doesn't look much like an egg to me, and boy, the chicken that laid it must be big. <laughs> it doesn't look like a plant either. Well, actually, all of these vegetables that we're going to be cooking today are parts of plants. <laughs> ha! What, what? All the vegetables are plants? That can be true. What, what? I mean, I mean, the flowers in the garden are plants. They have leaves and flowers and are green, huh? Maybe spinach could be a plant because it's green and looks a bit like leaves. But potatoes are plants? They don't have leaves. Yeah, garlic and ginger are plants, huh? They are not even green. There's something really wrong here, what, what? I think Chef Jeff is confused. Yes, that's it. He's confused. They couldn't all be plants. What, what? He so this brinjal is a plant? Yes, it's a part of the plant that's called the fruit. Have a look at this. Cut it open like that. There we go. And you can see it has seeds inside it. Huh? Oh. Yeah. So is this a fruit or a vegetable? It's a vegetable and it's also part of a plant. A part of a plant? Mm. We eat different parts of the plant and that carrot is a root. A carrot is a root? <laughs> yes. This is very confusing. Well, uh, let's ask the wise old tree to explain it. Hello everyone. Plants. I know all about them and they're all around me here. Every plant has a number of parts. It has roots and these are very important because they hold the plant in the ground and also take in all the water and food the plant needs from the ground. Then there is a stem that supports the leaves, flowers and fruit and also transports the water up from the roots. The leaves, those lovely green things, use sunlight to make food from the plant. And then the plant has flowers which smell nice and look pretty to attract birds and bees. And the flowers often turn into fruits that have seeds that grow into more plants. So, does that all make sense, huh? Yes! yes. Yeah. So do we eat different parts of plants? Yes, we do. Uh, the root, the stem, the leaves, and the fruit, which are the parts that contain the seeds. And we also eat the flower. We eat flowers? Yes, we do. Have a look at the vegetables on this counter. Can anyone tell me which one is the flower? This one. <laughs> yes, and I suppose the name gave it away, cauliflower. I have an idea. Let's chop up all the vegetables and then we can decide which part of the plant they are. Hmm? I'll give you some knives. Here we go. All of you choose a vegetable. Which one do you get to chop up? Huh? Why don't you take the red pepper? Great. What are you going to chop? I'll the cauliflower. Cauliflower. Great. And chop away like there's no tomorrow. Come, 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 come. Where are you going? Well, to the shops. Why? 
I'm feeling hungry, Maven. Hmm. Are you ever anything else? If I ate as much as you, I would need to be pushed around in a trolley. So what are you going to buy at the shop? Ah, uh, fruit. What? Marvin Mancha is going to buy fruit? Mm -hmm. Hey, good for you. <laughs> what fruit are you buying? <laughs> Fizz Pops. Uh, sorry? I don't think I heard you correctly. I thought you said Fizz Pops. Yes, I did. Fizz Pops? Hmm. But Fizz Pops aren't fruit. Yes, they are. Okay. Okay. So tell me, what makes Fizz Pops fruit? Well, Mervin, you know that fruits come from plants, ne? Mm -hmm. And plants have a stem and a flower. Well, mm -hmm. that's exactly what Fizz Pops have got. A stem and a flower. Yeah! Mervin, think about it. You hold a stick, that's a stem. And you eat the flower, that's the lollipop. Right. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I thought it was too good to be true. This must be fruit because it has seeds inside. <laughs> yes, that's right. But cut it up into smaller pieces and get rid of the seeds because when we eat them, they won't taste nice. They're actually very important to the red pepper. Each one of these seeds can grow into a new plant. Oh. Mm. And this is a stem. And this is a root. Uh, no, it does grow underground, but as a matter of fact, okay, and this might sound a little bit odd, but it's a stem that grows underground. A stem? Doesn't look like one. That's the thing with plants. There are many different varieties. The potato stores its food in the stem, and that's why it looks like that. And lucky for us, <laughs> it stores its food in the stem because we like to eat that part. Hmm? These are leaves. Mm. I don't know what part of plant this is, but it looks like a green football. <laughs> <laughs> a cabbage is just leaves that are tightly packed together. Take one of the leaves off. Now remember, leaves make food for the entire plant. But these leaves look nothing like the spinach. And this potato still looks like a root to me. <laughs> yes, that's because they all look different. Plants are diverse. Diverse? What does that mean? It means different. There are many, many types of plants in the world, and only a few of them are edible. Most of the parts of plants that we eat are not indigenous to South Africa. Indigenous? Indigenous means that plants grow naturally in an area. They are specially suited to grow there. Tomatoes and potatoes come from South America and people like them so much that they started growing them all around the world. There are lots of different plants that aren't indigenous to South Africa. Can you name the plants that are indigenous to South Africa and those that aren't? Oh, Chef Jeff! The oil sizzling inside the pot. <laughs> OK, let's put all the vegetables into the pot. Just chuck them all in now. Great. So little cauliflower. <laughs> I see. It was just me being silly. All vegetables are plants, or should I say, parts of plants. The roots, stem, and leaves. What, what? Even fruit are parts of plants. We eat all different parts of the plants. How could I have been so silly? <laughs> Thinking about all of this has made me hungry. Oi. Oh, I think I need a banana. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> mm, uh, uh. That smells really good. Mm. When can we have some? Soon. What is that smell? It doesn't smell like vegetables. Mm. It's the spices. Hmm? Spices are also made from parts of plants, like seeds and leaves. Uh, and they come from India and the Middle East. 
When Indians came to this country, they brought recipes for spices and curries. <laughs> and also some vegetables that are indigenous to India. Don't we have our own indigenous vegetables? Mm. I think so. My mom cooks maraha. Yes, that's like spinach. In the past, we used to eat parts of the plants that we don't anymore because we've lost some of that knowledge. But back to the here and now. Who wants some curry? Me! <laughs> okay, great. A dish them up for me. Mmm, looks delicious, eh? There we go, pass it down, guys. Plants are made up of roots, stems, leaves, flowers, and fruits. We eat some parts of these plants. Can you make a list of the parts of the plants that you like to eat? See you soon. Bye. 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 Stock, stem, leaf, and root. Those make up all veggies and fruit. Chocolate and sweet might taste so good. Stem and it's long and green, and cabbage is just a leaf, and that's all we see. If you wish to grow big and strong. Yeah. 